In my continual quest for recording excellence, I have taken the turntable system off of this old recordio that I found at an antique mall, and I have transplanted it onto my recording system that you see here. This is a Montgomery Ward record cutter that I've restored the electronics on and moved into this new groovy cabinet. And you can see uh, its beginnings on my channel as well. So in my quest for recording excellence, I decided to scrap the idea of recording at slower speeds and go with a larger turntable again that uh, can record at 78 RPM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to record on a laser disc. So in, you know, your walks of life, you may have seen people record on CDs, you know, actually cut grooves into CDs or plastic plates. Well, I thought, what about a laser disc? It's very similar to a CD. So can you cut a record onto a CD or a laser disc? And the question is, after you record onto that laser disc, can you then take the laser disc, play it in your laser disc player, and have it still play? So we'll find that out in this video. So uh, I've replaced the, um, the, re the recording cutting head that's in this unit here. That came from my old unit. And I've also transplanted the tone arm that I had on my old unit onto this one as well, so that everything is just as cool as it was before. So what we're going to do is record off this CD here. This is where the sound's going to come from. It comes from my dad's band, The Ambassadors of Swing, the album This Time, Third Time's The Charm. And uh, we're going to play a song off the CD coming off of this Sony Walkman right here and run it into the system and record it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. I've got everything set up already. So I will begin cutting the record here. Actually, let's see. Better hit play first. I don't know why this thing likes to beep. It does indeed like to beep. All right, so we're going to hear a little beep on the record as well that we record. So here we go. All right, the cutting is going. Let's start the tape. CD. Now I've got the sound muted so you're not able to hear it as it's cutting. I thought it would be more of a surprise if I could uh, do it that way. But you can see the little trail of uh, stuff coming off of there. Try and uh, gather it here in the middle. Stuff is very clingy. Sometimes it'll just kind of collect on its own, as you can see here. I'll go ahead and unplug the uh, speaker so you can just hear it recording for just a second. So there's what she sounds like. I think I may crank it up just a little bit. So uh, as you can, or you may have seen on my channel, I've already got some uh, an example where I told you how I restored this Montgomery Ward record cutter from its uh, absolute nothingness to actually working. Now my cutting head that's on here, I had to send to a guy on the internet and have it rebuilt. But uh, as far as I know, he has retired that business. So uh, unless somebody else out there knows somebody who can recoil a cutting head, then um, those of us who have these record cutters, once they go bad, uh, we're kind of in sad shape. But uh, in any case... Uh, that was part of the deal, and then of course the amplifier, which you see down below, now you can see it, all of that, the electronics on that have been restored. So I've replaced all the capacitors and the tubes on that unit so that it would once again work. I even had to replace the power transformer on that sucker. So yeah, uh, it's been a fun project and uh, a lot of work. Uh, it was actually a lot of work moving all this electronics into this unit. Had to get the old soldering iron out. And loose and stuff. Now I will say that uh, more than likely our record is going to have some squealing in it and I think due to my earlier testing 
That just has to do with the material of this, uh, this laser disc. And uh, the material uh, just doesn't want to be cut. So we'll check and see if our song is still going. Yep, song's still going. There's our record. It has been cut. Go ahead and hit uh, stop on this guy over here. I think I hit the right button. Alright, so now let's do a playback. With our record cleaned off and ready to play, we are going to play for you Moon Dance, which, is, which again is track two of this Ambassadors of Swing compact disc, now etched onto a laser disc. And here you go. There's the beeping we uh, were promised. So there you heard it, folks. We've recorded sound, etched sound, onto a laser disc. Now, let's take that laser disc, put it in a laser disc player, and see if it will still play with all of these grooves cut in it. Let's give it a shot. On the left of your screen there, you're going to see the uncut laser disc there on the left, and on the right, the grooves that we cut in it. Now, keep in mind that laser discs are read from the middle out. So more than likely, the beginning of this disc isn't going to have any trouble playing. So this part here, the beginning, is going to sound fine. And then when, once we start getting into the probably 20 minutes or so into the material, you know, guessing that this is the 30-minute mark here, uh, we're going to see uh, something crazy happen. So this is, um, uh, well, you can read it. I don't know how to pronounce his first name. It's Pavarotti and Friends. And uh, this would be side one that we're going to be playing because the label always tells you what's on the bottom side. All right, so we're going to put that into my CLD 980 laser disc player here. Okay, so again, the part we recorded goes down like this. And you can see on the other side where I did my test cuts for this video. So into the machine we go. It knows it's a laser disc. And the machine starts playing. And I'm going to mute the volume so I don't get any tr trouble with uh, copyright laws or anything. 
And you can probably see why it is that I use this disc. It has quite a bit of laser rot on it. You can see all those little dancing particles on the screen there. All right, so we're on track one. I'm going to switch it over to... This is track four. I don't know how far into the disc we are at this point. Chapter five. Wow. It is actually kind of playing. Let's hear if the sound is really bad. Oh yeah. The sound is useless. No sound. But amazingly enough, we are getting video off of this. I seriously thought this was not going to work at all. That is hilarious. Well, it goes to show you the power of the laser to be able to penetrate through all of those crazy grooves we cut and actually still play the disc. Wow. All right, let's try uh, the next track. This is track six, or chapter six. Look at there. Still showing us video off the disc. Unbelievable. Well, our hat's off to Pioneer for uh, making a product that can virtually survive any kind of uh, destruction and still play. Unbelievable. All right, well, thank you guys for uh, giving me your time here today. Uh, be sure and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like nerdy, geeky, uh, crazy experiments like this one. Share it with a friend who might be interested. Oh my gosh, Michael Bolton, get him off of here. Um, share it with a friend, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you think this is absolutely a ridiculous experiment. What would be really funny is if the uh, music that were recorded on the 78 RPM turntable uh, started playing through the speakers. But no, don't uh, count on that happening. All right, thanks for watching, guys.